youtube 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 welcome back to it welcome to the channel den of zen money talks it's your boy live here and of course i'm bringing you all the best business and tech news that money can't buy but before we get to it before we get to this banger of a video i need y'all to do one specific thing do one thing only for me go over to dz world a new comedy channel and support my little bro and my cousin fdz and jdz they're coming up next they're up next they probably are the funniest people that i know so if y'all want real comedy go subscribe to the channel don't be a sad sack of course it's dz world like i said go subscribe for real don't be a sad sack now with that out the way let's get to the topic now elon musk mr musk himself we know that elon is a technology and space sciences genius but he's in solar energy now and what solar energy comes with is he dropping a new solar panel solar panel 4.0 but without giving out too many details i'm gonna let y'all get to the video and check that out all i'm gonna say is this go ahead and like subscribe and hit that bell icon for me and subscribe to the channel because i'm coming out with bangers every single week and you don't want to miss them now with that out the way there's only one more thing left to do let's get to the video i'm gonna see you at the end of the video i promise you're gonna see me again And we are right back. Of course, before we get to the video, just do one thing for me. Go ahead and like, hit that bell icon, and also subscribe so you guys don't miss any new videos because I'm coming out with bangers every single week. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and just get to the video. The new solar panel model developed by Elon and his team, which looks as fragile and as delicate as a sheet of paper, not only impresses with its design, but according to specialists, promises to far surpass the efficiency of a conventional solar panel and develop a potentially unlimited clean energy system. Crystalline polysilicone solar cells almost completely monopolize the renewable solar cell energy, so much so that at least 90% of the solar panels produced and traded in the world are of this type. However, although this renewable solar energy is one of the favorite alternatives in the green energy sector, all that glitters is not gold. Not only has the price of polysilicone solar been rising steadily over time due to increased demand, there is also a rather costly and tedious process behind each cell built. The silicone metal must be heated and purified in 99.99% of its composition before it becomes polysilicone, which is used to manufacture the panels. To achieve this purification process, the silicone crystal must be heated to a very high temperature until it melts. But for the process to work properly, it must be done in a reactor whose walls are cool enough. Otherwise, the metal would eventually crystallize into thin silicone rods, which would be useless for producing new solar cells. It's like cooking potatoes in a pot of hot water and at the same time, having to use a way to cool the walls of this pot. Such a process requires a lot of energy, about 250 kilowatts per hour for each panel manufactured. Energy that makes creating new solar cells difficult enough to increase their prices even more, as well as involving the use of highly toxic components such as cadmium, arsenic, or silicone tetrachloride. This is where ferroelectric panels appear, using metals of very low toxicity, abundant and easy to recycle, thus eliminating all pollution problems, greatly reducing energy and resource costs, and atop it all off, offering incredible levels of efficiency. This panel distributor had been under study for some time at Martin Luther King University in Holly Wittenberg, Germany where its only drawback was its low efficiency. While the performance of ordinary solar panels is 15%, the efficiency of ferroelectric panels was 0.015%, a thousand times lower than a traditional system. Now, I mean, this may take you by surprise considering that we started talking about a technology capable of blowing your mind. And I'm sure you did not expect this surprise to be due to low quality. And it's true, because although until recently, this represented a major problem for its use, but it's ended up being a thing of the past. The solution was to create a new design composed of a network of three different ferroelectric materials, barium titanite, calcium titanite, and sodium titanite, which arranged in thin overlapping layers ended up being able to produce and process thousands of times of more electrical energy than a traditional type cell. On its own, barium titanite, an oxide of barium and titanium that is also one of the most important ingredients in creating these cells, it doesn't absorb much sunlight and levels of photocurrent it's capable of producing are low even in its purest form however in conjunction with the other elements its performance soars 
Another huge point in their favor is that they are the first solar panels that do not use the so-called PN junction to operate, which simply put, does not require integrating layers of cells that are positively and negatively doped, allowing them to be several times more efficient than ordinary panels even on shady days. In this new cell model, the negative and positive charges are integrated in the same device, stacked on top of one another in numerous hyperthin layers of barium, strontium, and calcium titanites. A single cell is composed of 500 overlapping layers. However, they are far from resembling conventional huge plank-shaped cells. Tesla's new solar panels are about 200 nanometers thick, making them only twice as thick and strong as a 100 nanometer sheet of paper. To create these hyperthin layers, the team uses a very high intensity layer to vaporize the crystals and deposit them on the carrier substrates. A large 11.34 kilowatt Tesla solar system can produce an average daily energy volume of between 43 to 58 kilowatts per hour, which equates to about 1500 kilowatts per hour per week. Tests of these new models in development have revealed an incredible figure equivalent to an output of 1.5 million kilowatt hours on a weekly basis. Tesla's ferroelectric panels have many potential implications limited by only one's imagination. There has been talk of long-term applications such as integrating them into public transportation systems in the electric Tesla model cars, implementing them in translucent windows, or integrating them into new generations of smartphones capable of recharging and running on solar power, as well as fulfilling Elon's lifelong cherished dream of providing a new source of clean energy to the entire United States within a few years. Now, here's the thing. While they offer a long list of incredible possibilities, these new panels still face a number of problems that conventional cells just are better suited for. These new models are still much less resistant to high temperatures, a problem they plan to solve by providing them a heat resistant protective film still under development that they hope can be integrated in many other areas of the electronics industry, such as computer capacitors. Another point to be discussed is the lifetimes. Conventional panels have a confirmed life expectancy of about 25 years, while the life expectancy of this new type of cell remains unconfirmed. Now, although it's clear that they maintain an optical and efficient operation exceeding six months so that, although ferroelectric cells have already confirmed to be about a thousand times more powerful and 10 times cheaper, with an estimated selling price of only 22 cents, it's still too early to know if their durability equals the old panels of always. With other incredible products in this field such as Bose RV solar panels, their reputation for being far more durable with an average lifespan of 30 years and constant use and up to 250 years without use, this direct competition from Tesla shows that the race for supremacy in the field of self-sustainable energy has only just begun and that most of the wonders in the field are yet to come. I mean Elon's just a game changer, I mean there's no changing that between his tech companies of Tesla, his company going to space, SpaceX, now he's involved in solar energy launching solar panel 4.0, it's going to come down to who can first create the ultimate solar cell energy source. And with thermoelectric solar cells being a game changer, it's going to come down to who can create the best ultimate solar cell source in terms of adaptability, energy volumes, and also endurance. If you like the video, go ahead and like, comment, and also subscribe to the video and hit that bell icon. Share it with your friends also. In the comment section, I would really love to hear y'all's feedback and of course any future topics you guys want me to cover. Now, to wrap up this video, like I've said before, I'll say it again. I'm going to talk to y'all and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a good day. Peace.